there's a popular problem related to infinite series called the bouncing ball problem. And, and here's what it says. It says if you um, have a ball in your hand and you drop it from a given height, and every time it bounces, it rebounds a certain percentage of the way back up, then what's the total distance traveled, meaning the total vertical distance, not included with the horizontal distance, but the total vertical distance um, traveled. So in other words, if you had a, a slow motion camera and you were able to measure this initial height, um, you would take that distance, but then you would add back to it um, not only this distance here that I'm showing, but actually twice that because it goes up that much and then down that much again, and then two times this height plus two times this height plus two times this height for forever. And uh, it turns out to be a geometric series. So it gives a good application for a uh, geometric series. So let's let's give one a shot. We'll um, just make up some initial data and then we'll, we'll um, see, see how it turns out. So let's say our initial height and you can change this for uh, to get it you know to create another problem but let's say your initial height is we'll say 15 feet and every time it bounces it'll rebound uh, this may be given as a percentage or a fraction or a decimal it doesn't matter um, let's say it'll rebound I'll write it as a percentage 60 percent of the way up so if the initial height was hypothetically 10, then after the first bounce, it would only come up to a height of 6, and then so on and so forth for every time below that. So let's write this out long ways, and then we'll take a look at how that turns into some, some sort of series. Uh, let's just write it term by term. So the initial height is 15 feet. So the first bounce, or uh, the first drop, will be 15. And then for the second height, it'll be 60% of 15. So I have 15 times 6 tenths, 60% of 15. But the second, or I guess after the first bounce, is a little different than the initial drop because we go up and down. So I need to double this distance because um, unlike the first drop, I actually have this distance traversed twice. All right, and then this, uh, after the second bounce, when you're in this little interval here, well, then how high is that? Well, the height will be 60% of this that I'm underlining right here. So that'll be um, 2. I'll just put the 2 up front since it's up and down like the last one. Times 15 times 6 tenths times another 6 tenths, 60% of that. So I'll just write that as six tenths squared and on and on and on I think we see the pattern then it'll be two times fifteen times six tenths cubed then to the fourth then to the fifth uh, etc so um, if we could figure out what this infinite series is then we'll be able to tell the total distance traveled by the ball forever uh, until it comes to a complete stop all right now in trying to convert this into a series, uh, one thing that, that we notice is going to be a little bit of a, tr uh, little bit of trouble uh, is this initial 15 out here. It's not doubled. So what we're going to have to do is break this apart into kind of two pieces. We'll leave the 15 by itself, and then we'll try to write the remainder, uh, the rest of these terms, as a series. So they all will have a 2 times 15, so all have a 30, but then the 6 tenths is what's um, constantly increasing in power. So we'll have 6 tenths to the nth power. First the first power, then the second, then the third, then the fourth, then the fifth. And notice here n starts at 1. 6 tenths to the first is the first term that you have. All right. So this is looking pretty good so far. Um, this is the, the same as this series here, plus 15. Uh, if you look at the uh, second term in the sum, this looks like a geometric series almost. It's just about the same as a geometric series. The only subtle difference, uh, hopefully you spotted this, is that it starts at 1, unfortunately, and it should start at 0. Well, if you watch the video on geometric series, I, I talk about how to handle uh, this discrepancy here um, because there was a formula for the sum of a geometric series. 
you take a over 1 minus r assuming that you're starting at 0. So this is actually too much because this formula here, a over 1 minus r, is for the full and complete geometric series that starts at 0. So how do I count for the missing term? Because this is too large. I have the 0th term incorporated into this answer that shouldn't really be there. It was very simple. Um, I take this answer that's a little too large and I subtract out the extra term that should not have been in there. So if n was 0, 30 times 6 tenths to the 0 power is 30. And I'm going to remove that from the sum so that it really will be equal uh, to this series right here. So just a little bit of algebra left. Let's see. Um, 1 minus 6 tenths will be 4 tenths. 4 tenths. Uh, 4 tenths times 30. I'm sorry, 30 divided by 4 tenths, excuse me. We would have 30 times... 10 over 4, if instead of dividing by 4 tenths, you can multiply by the reciprocal. It's a common algebra procedure. And then 15 minus 30 will give you minus 15. A little bit of algebra left. Um, 30 divided by 4 would be the same as 15 over 2. 15 over 2, it'll reduce, but no more than that. Um, uh, you could make it a, a decimal if we wanted. 15 over 2 would be 7.5. 7.5. 5. 7.5 times 10 would be 75. Minus 15. Subtract. And we get 60. Okay, so now what is 60? What is that rep representing here? Well, again, to go back to the picture, if you go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, as this ball bounces to a standstill, its total distance, if you were watching it on a slow motion camera or what have you, will be a net total of 60 feet. And I think it's interesting if you actually try adding these up term by term, the bulk of that 60% is probably completed, you know, within the first four or five bounces. Um, just because after that it's just so close to the ground, you're just getting a small decimal percentage for the remainder of those terms.